Hey guys, Maxwell Gaming. Uh, this is uh, episode uh, 9, I'm pretty sure. And uh, let's get going on to the next episode. I just healed my Pokemon and I'm ready to scale Mount Clover. Mount Clover is a really annoy annoying place. I don't like it that much, but uh, it's pretty good for just, you know, training your Pokemon. All kinds of trainers here. Oh, look, listen to this X Files music. I never noticed that. And also, I never told you guys about, um, if this is Theorist John. I never told you guys about, uh, I, I skipped past that art. If you go back to the earlier videos, I'm sure you can hear it. But I think whenever you, I don't know if it's just when you win a game or, or I mean a fight, or it, I think it also shows when you catch a Pokemon. When I beat this trainer, or no, when you level up, not. Yeah, when you level up your Pokemon, it doesn't it show the same music when you catch a Pokemon. I don't know, but I think you can go back when you catch the Pokemon in this game, or the the, uh, the catch victory music is different. Oh yeah, here's uh, the midget of Bojan, they're like, Bobos, what do you want? Can't you let an old man rest in peace? The seven uh, dwarves or whatever of uh, the Bojan region, midget CP, only seven of them in the game. Or Rosito. Some Mexican jumping bean. Struggle bug. Nah. Wait. Yeah, I'm still recording. I want to do a test. Save the game. And I'm gonna replace Struggle Bug. And then I'm gonna look stat wise. 50 attack. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not going to uh, learn Struggle Bug because Leech Light as a physical move is much stronger. If it, if it was uh, like an extreme special attacker, then that would be. Oh my, oh my god, this music. It's disturbing. It's loud. But, um, and that was like Super 8 bit or something, but, uh, because, uh, like, if, if Pro Mosquito is a major special attacker, then it might. Oh, Christico. It's a pretty cool Pokemon, but, I mean, not catching it. Yeah, if it. That's crystal cool. His evolution is like a Nido King clone, so it's pretty lame. But I mean, it, it's cool, but if not a concept steal. You know what I mean, though. Oh, here's the end goal of my clever. Nobel's Cottage. Oh, um, the guy who, uh, made Pokemon Clover really likes camera up or whatever. No is the pre evo so I guess there's a reference. Oi, mate, I forgot to debug my code before running it. Go to my PC, change me back, will ya? What if you said no? No? Now don't be so cold. Come on, you gotta help a guy in deep, deep trouble. What do you say, chief, please? Okay? Alright, wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do... Go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Max initiated the teleporter cell separator. Yay, it's Bill in human form. Or it's supposed to be Bill. Thanks, mate. You're a real bro. Whatever. Say, are you ch taking the gym challenge? My little brother decided to take that the challenge, but I haven't heard from him in months. 
Here, take this too. Receive the XP share. That's the XP share. Thanks again, pal. Oh my... Wait, let me talk to this computer. My almost favorite Pokemon list. Which Pokemon do you want to see? Reptike. Baryok. So, this is the group of the Gen 2 starters. I didn't know about that. And is it on your Pokedex? I'm pretty sure it'll be on your Pokedex. You get the Gen 2 starters really soon. Like, after the third gym. Or... Yeah, I would say after the third gym. You get it? You, you also have the National Dex right off the bat. And a lot of these Pokemon that we see are in the National Dex. So, Reptike, Furrock, and Clockout, yeah. Oh, let's fight. How do you battle people? Oh my god. It, fucking noob. <laughs> These people. Th there's a version of this trainer that always has difficult Pokemon. Always. And it's like critical hit, one shot, like extreme, like extreme stats like OP and it's, it's really annoying when you fight them but I mean with our team we can probably just truck through them because we're gonna I I've got big big plans we're gonna we're gonna be really good we're, we're, when, when we get a good team going we're gonna uh, track through all the uh, crowds people now in order to go back to the trainer for health you have to jump down there and go a little farther oh Green charge. Hey there, I like what you see. Oh my god, it's a transvestite tranny Bailey. What's the battle? Yeah, that <laughs> oh my god, they gave her him a package in between. I mean, if you're tr dressing as a woman, I, I, I would. Shave my face. I don't know, beards are something that only men should have. Or it's it denotes of manliness factor. If you were to try to portray yourself as a female, wouldn't be that good. I might die here. Oh, yep, I lost. Time to scale back the mountain. And then fight some trainers back there. Oh, Frost Owl! That's a really cool Pokemon, but it kind of looks like its head is a Soul Rock's body. Um, here's a neck beard right here. Pinkie Pie is the best pro. Pwn. Now let's party. Neck beard Pinkie wants to battle. And yeah, these Pokemon trainers are really awesome. What? Hey, something wrong about liking a children's cartoon? I said something about me making him horny. I was disturbing. I, I, I didn't read it fast enough. I wish I did. Yeah, let's rescale this place. Just try and beat my flawless strategy. Oh, smo Smogoon. Josh wants to battle. Now these people just run stupid smoke on sets that are supposed to work that don't it's it's actually pretty funny because it's like a there'll be like there'll be like a smoke a robin that knows nothing but uh protect toxic spikes stealth rock and like toxic or something that pokemon knows nothing but like notoriously competitive moves but in like smogan esque sets that never work out. It's it's pretty funny. And then smoke Smogarobin, his evolution is even better. He evolves into like the literal definition of a Smogon fake Imam. Oh if Smogon as a group were to become a fake Imam, that would be Smoxalon, exactly. I'm just wrecking these bird-type Pokemon. 
I don't know why you would encore while I'm using an electric type move that is destroying you. Bird is stupid. Okay, I guess I'll train Shizzer Brick a little bit more. Lastly, let me rematch this trainer. Uh, it looks like a psychic type, but I don't know if you guys noticed yet, but oh my god. I don't, die? I don't know if you guys noticed yet. I'm going to lose this trainer again! I don't know if you guys noticed this yet, but um, yep, going to lose again. Nope, maybe I can heal. If I can one-shot it. Yes! Okay, I won this time. But uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there are fairy types in this game now. And they work exactly like how fairy types should be. And there's like moves like Moonblast, and it's, it's really cool. They, they've... I think they're immune to dragon types, and they've got the same weaknesses and effects as normal, which I, I think is really cool since obviously fair type is not um, fire red. I think that's all for Mount Clover. That girl, Kimi, or whatever we met earlier, she'll reappear later. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this guy is like straight up naked, you can see his man boobs right there. I think his trainer name is straight up faggot. <laughs> Pretty funny, but I mean, also offensive because that's what this game is. Let me try and see if I can win this pissing contest. Yeah, I think you have to have a water type in your team. That's my only, or a water type move in your team. <laughs> Maybe, because I did on my first try when I had a host jack, and he had water type moves, obviously, because he's the water starter. And, I don't know, bike's not that important. I'm going to buy, oh yeah, the music of the Pokemon is pretty awesome. And they've got some new balls. Orbit ball. It damages the Pokemon upon escape. I mean, if you fall, if you use the false light method, that's terrible. Drunk ball. The sticker on it says "Made in China." I think it has got a lower catch rate than um, a Pokeball, which is yeah, it's cheaper. It's half the price. And just in case, I'm gonna buy like five. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna buy 10. Where does this guy sell? Do you want to pawn something? Let me call in a buddy to take a look at that first. He's calling coming all the way from Unova, so it'll be a while. Oh, Pawn Stars references, this is awesome. Wait, so you can remember a bunch of Pokemon names, but somehow my pronouns and gender identities are too complicated. Stupid. Stupid cisgender? I don't know what that even means. I think that's like a weird way of saying gender sister. I don't know. Uh, this has been episode 9, I think. Ep 8, 9? Yeah, whatever. Uh, this has been Maxilla Gaming here, and uh, thanks for watching, and enjoy the next episode. I'm going to be tigering on the second gym. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.